Hello, this video will be covering the Tear of the Dragon memories in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I need to make this before continuing the playthrough series since I already done the memories before reaching the end of the main story. This is not a recap of the whole story of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, rather more about the lore from the Tear of the Dragon main mission. This will contain a massive spoiler about the game, so if you haven't watched the last 3 episodes of my playthrough, please check that first and come back here. For everyone who already did, hope you enjoyed this video. Let's start. So as you know from the Sky Islands sequence at the start of the game, we know that Link sent the broken Master Sword back to Zelda in the past. But is that actually Zelda? How she got the Master Sword? And what is happening here? Also in the episode 2 of my playthrough series, we see Zelda just a here out of nowhere and vanished after that. She seems weird and the whole thing is just confusing. What happened with Zelda after the encounter with the mummy who stutters Link's master sword, cursed his right arm, and threw Zelda into the depths of the earth? Also still a mystery since Zelda just vanished into a bright light when that happened. So let's just jump to the first memory. It's called Where Am I? Here we can see that Zelda teleported into some kind of unfamiliar place. She met two people and Zelda introduced her herself as the princess of Hyrule. They both confused and said to Zelda that they are the king and queen of Hyrule. One is King Rauru, the one who gave his arm to Link in the present time. And the other is Queen Sonia, who have the same stone as the one Zelda have that dropped by the mummy from the previous memory. The second memory is called an unfamiliar world. Here we can see that Zelda is actually time traveled back to the ancient past, the era of Hyrule founding, and questions how she can get back to her own era. Since since Zelda have the same secret stone as Queen Sonia, Zelda wants to know how to get back to her timeline. Queen Sonia offered to help Zelda and King Rauru said that Mineru, Rauru's older sister, probably have the information about how to help Zelda back to her time. The third memory is called Mineru's console. Zelda sold Mineru the Pura Pet aka in the Nintendo Switch, and Mineru accepts that Zelda is from the future. Mineru then borrowed the Purapet and said that she will implement the transportation power from the Purapet into this era. Mineru then explained that what the secret stone do is just amplifying the power that the owner possess. For example, Mineru able to separate her spirit from her body, Rauru can repel or destroy the evil with his power of light, and Sonia she can control time. Then Mineru said Zelda probably have two powers, time power and power of light. But the secret stone only seems to amplify her time power. While Zelda time power is amplified, she still need to learn herself how to control that power. So the one who can help Zelda back is Zelda herself. Mineru then mentioned that there is a forbidden act called dragonification. Basically, if someone swallow the secret stone, they will become a dragon and blessed with eternal life. That's another way to reach the future, right? It can be the last resort, but if you become a dragon, you will lose yourself as a being. But for now, Zelda will try to learn her power with the guidance of Queen Sonia. The fourth memory is called the Gerudo Assault. The Gerudo chief named Ganondorf, in his push to conquer Hyrule, he released a swarm of Molduga, but King Rauru easily destroyed the monsters with his power of light combined with Queen Sonia and Zelda's power. Then Ganondorf noticed that Rauru's secret stone is placed on his right hand, and then he lived with a sinister smile. The fifth memory is called a show of fealty. Invited before the court of Hyrule, Ganondorf kneels before King Rauru and pledges his fealty, but it's obvious that all of that was only an act. King Rauru also mentioned that the aliens with the hero of Gerudo, the only male who born once every 100 years, is really reassuring for the kingdom. While Ganondorf responding sarcastically, saying that Zonai seems like not gods anymore in his eyes, and left after that. Zelda is uneasy and told King Rauru about Ganondorf's evilness, but Rauru assures her that he's been fully aware of it. He said that it's easier to control your enemy when they are close. 
The sixth memory is called Zelda and Sonia. Queen Sonia solves her time power and curious what is in Zelda's mind since she seems distracted from the training. Zelda said that her mind is full of how to get back to her era. And then Sonia shows her how she can use her power by predicting the memory of the object itself. Sonia noticed that that's not the only the thought that bothering Zelda though. She read her like a book saying Zelda was complicated between going back to her time while also wanting to help the era she is living at right now. Queen Sonia assures Zelda to just focus on getting herself back to her era since she also have not only time power but also Raru's light power to repel the evil. The princess then mentions Link. Raru said that he never heard that name before and Zelda explains who Link is, her faith in her friend and hero, Science. The seventh memory is called Sonia is caught by treasury. Here, Zelda asks for a private conversation with Queen Sonia, and now they both alone. Zelda suddenly speaks her evil intention and throws a dagger aimed to Sonia's neck. Sonia, of course, notices it and stops it with her time power and said that Zelda is so out of character. She said that the Zelda in front of her is merely a puppet of Ganondorf. The real Zelda then appears and she is actually the one who stopped the dagger with her time power, showing that Zelda now able to control her power. The fake Zelda then vanished and suddenly Ganondorf backstab Queen Sonia and steal her secret stone. Ganondorf then laugh like a maniac. I mean, look at his face right now. What the hell is that? That's a nightmare. The eighth memory is called the birth of the Demon King. Ganondorf took Queen Sonia's secret stone and taking control of its power. Then the secret stone attached into his forehead and his power growing crazy. He summoned the Blood Moon and became the Demon King himself. With the Blood Moon, he's summoning monsters like Bogoblins, Hinox, Laser People, and Linels to the Hyrule Kingdom. King Raidu arrived. With anger, he want to avenge Queen Sonia, but Zelda stopped him and the three of them escape cannon attack with the teleportation power of the Seika Slate. The memory number 9 is called the Sage's Foe. Packed into a corner by the attacks in all parts of Hyrule, leaders of each region gather at Rauru's call. Rauru gives each of them a Zunai secret stone, making them sages with their powers amplified by the stones. All of the sages raise their voices as one, including Zelda, who now became the Sage of Time since the death of Queen Sonia. And they are all pledging to fight with King Raurus to the end. The memory number 10 is called A King's Duty. On the eve of battle, Zelda tells Rauru that in her future, she is seen that the Demon King is alive. As we saw in the intro cutscene when Zelda and Link meet Ganon as a mummy at the underground of Hyrule Castle. Ganon lives the entire time until Zelda's era, means that King Rauru and the sages won't be able to defeat Ganon the next day. Rauru then says that he will still do what he must, even at the cost of his life. He also admits that all of this caused by his error, that he trying to keep Ganondorf close, and the plan backfired to him. If they fail in this war, their last hope will be the night in the future who wields the sword that seals the darkness. Here, he is referring to Link and his master sword. Rauru also mentioned that the timeline where Link and Zelda were separated happened without Zelda arrived in the past. Since now Zelda time traveled back here, there must be a reason why that happened. The last memory is called a master's word in time. Zelda talking about the war that just happened, saying they able to seal Ganon but worries that Link might be not able to beat Ganon in the future. Then suddenly a decayed master's word appears before her, delivering the news that Link is safe in her time. This helps Zelda realize the reason behind her traveling to the ancient days of Hyrule, to do something only she can do, which is repairing the Master Sword and imbues it with the power of light that she has. But the method will be the forbidden one. After getting all 10 of the memories from the Tear of the Dragon story, suddenly Link hear a loud roar and then a dragon appears in the sky. The dragon is in tear and drop its tear to a place. That is actually the real last memory. Now we will see what's going to happen. It's all captured on my live stream.
Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. a sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. So did Zelda. Silent Princess, the name of the flower. <laughs> That's a nice touch. <sighs> Why? I can reach you. I need to take this in. Oh, well, I'm asking how can I reach you? <laughs> A stone just fall from the sky. Let's go. No time to waste. Come on, I hope this is going to work. Come on. I hope I can reach you. But the question after that is what shall I do after that? Come on, Link. Shoot her with an arrow? Shall I do that? 
Okay, okay, I will do that. Zelda! Zelda, I'm here! Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh! Got it! Zelda! Zelda, that's me! I'm Link! Zelda! Zelda! I already shot, shot her though. Nothing happened. Looks like you got a scale. So I just missed my shot. I just shot the scale and she doesn't feel anything? Where's that boulder? I swear it's around here. Zelda, I'm coming for you. Zelda, this is the second try. Zelda, look at me. You cannot grab onto the dragon. No, the master sword is literally at <laughs> top of your head. Zelda. <laughs> no. <laughs> fly again for some reason what happened and my my energy back I'm at, I'm at Zelda 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 thanks for the for the start by the way appreciate it Zelda I demand explanation Link don't you dare sleep on me don't sleep. I need to get my emotions in control. I, I will not do any stupid mistake. Like falling down or something like that. Zelda! Zelda, speak to me. Oh no, I, I don't think that I have enough heart for this. <laughs> Shit. Shit, this is my moment, but I don't think that I have enough heart. Zelda, I'm here. Zelda, please. No, 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 please. Oh, it's using stamina, not hearts. Holy... Zelda, please, stay with me. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. You're a strong person, I know it. Come on, Link. Link. Come on. Come on. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, oh, we got it! We... <gasps> I actually have enough stamina! What? If this not destiny, I I I I don't know anymore. <laughs> I just upgraded exactly enough for the stamina. Honestly, I don't care about the master sword. Please, Link, talk to Zelda or something. But oh, fuck hell, man! <laughs> this is going to be like every streamer, every YouTuber, every one who play this game going to be insane with this moment. This moment will be legendary in the in in the gaming history, man. This is the first time I get the best weapon in video game, but I don't really care about it. Holy shit, that epic though. Link. <gasps> Link. Master sword, your sword. She is the key to destroying the demon king. 
fuck? I want to cry. A long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the demon king, you will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. Fuck. Goodbye, Zelda. <sighs> That's too much, man. <laughs>